So in the previous video, we looked at building a robot with a robot simulator, getting it to do certain actions, and then phrasing those actions in terms of a linear sequence of behaviors. And so in this video, I'm going to follow up by a different way of describing that same kind of behavior logic um, in a way that is more flexible than just a linear sequence. And this is what's called a finite state machine. And so um, so in finite state machine, what we have is the, you can think of the robot as existing in a set of states, there's a finite number of them, and it moves from one state to another depending on what uh, information it takes and, and, and so on. So if you imagine that you have a soccer player playing a, um, a uh, soccer playing robot that's playing a uh, ball, you could imagine it being in a number of different states, so we would have to program individually what those behaviors are, kicking the ball, searching for it, approaching it, and kind of, you know, after you've approached it, to get an oriented kick. And depending on whether the ball is at their feet or not at various points, you move from one state to another one. Um, and so this is kind of the way to phrase it. So I'm, uh, I'm going to start with the example that we did that was fairly linear, and that was the, um, the shown here on the on the right, uh, we're kind of switched to moving forward until we're close to a wall, then we switch to moving backwards until we're far from the wall, and then we kind of loop that. Um, so I'm going to start with that and then look at a more complex example that uh, hopefully will highlight many of these, um, these different sorts of uh, um, uh, the syntax and, and things like that. So um, let me go to my Jupyter Lab. I'm going to make another, another notebook. So this is our previous one with the linear behavior. So I'm going to do my PyLab inline. We're going to do from robot sim 373 import star. And we're going to build the same robot that we had before the two blocks. And uh, so if you haven't seen the previous video, it would be useful to do that. Um, and then I'm going to um, so these are some of the behaviors that we're, that we're going to look at. So I'll, I'll keep I'll keep those, and and then I'm going to take this kind of environment run um, that we had uh, before. So and this and this will oh, actually I'll take the one that, that we actually did at the very end. Uh, we'll take that one instead. Okay. Okay. And so this should all actually work. This should be enough. And this is the actual behavior that we had uh, before. Okay, so so if I want to change this into kind of the state machine uh, uh, logic, then what I need to do is I need to specify a number of states and they and their um, and kind of which states they move to after they finish. Um, and and so the um, the syntax is going to look somewhat like this, but I'm going to. Um, so I'm going to rewrite this as rewrite with finite state machine. All right. And let me just do a couple of these. All right. So I'm going to make a state machine, which is basically just the thing that holds all of the kind of logic. And, and, and it's an object of, of, that, of that type. And I'm going to make it, there's going to be a, uh, uh, essentially a list of things that um, are essentially an action, like forward, uh, and that's a function, and then, then the name of the next uh, next state, so until close. Um, and I'll do the same thing here. That's the name of the function, and then I'm going to give the, so that's the function, and then, um, and then, then, and then backward. Um, and then I'll do the same thing for the backward function and go to until far. And then I'm going to do until far and go back to forward. So this does the explicit loop. Okay. So, um, so what this does is the, um, um, I can, 
this does exactly the same thing as before, um, but it's phrased in terms of a function and then a name of a function that, 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 that will be next. So you can think of the function itself as the state that it's in, and it's actually taking these names from the function name to try to make it a little bit, a little bit cleaner. Um, there's a, an extra little bit of syntax. Instead of having um, all, these, all these message uh, uh, commands in our actions, which is kind of annoying, um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to take those out and I'm going to um, make a monitor function that, um, actually I probably shouldn't have taken it out there, I should probably just copy and paste it, so I'm gonna undo those. I'm gonna copy and paste the, uh, this, just so that way I can do the, um, I can get rid of these kind of messages and I made a function called monitor that will um, def monitor that's, that, that's basically called in the same in the same exact way that I can do a, a general uh, message so I can make the robot message equal to and I'm going to just make it the the controller dot current state so that'll just be the name of whatever state it happens to be in. So that, that, that kind of bypasses all those extra little uh, message things that are sprinkled out through here. And this monitor is called no, all the time, no matter what action, it's the, what, what action it's in. So there's our state machine. Then we need to make a robot controller. So after we build this, we need to uh, uh, make the controller equal to, we'll do a, uh, do a, a controller here and give it the state machine. And finally, we'll make the controller monitor equal to that monitor function. So monitor is equal to monitor. And instead of giving an act function, I give the robot controller. So the robot controller acts like an act, a single act function given a state machine. It kind of maintains this kind of sequence and this should work if there aren't any, and then and notice it's, it's giving the, uh, the state because um, 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 the forward and backward happen so rapidly, we don't actually see um, those states in there, but that'll, um, that'll change as we kind of move things uh, um, around a, a little differently. Now, let me point out a couple of things here, okay? So this is basically a reproduction of our previous behaviors, okay? And essentially all these behaviors are returning true and that'll just go to the next one. So, so it'll run you know, one act function until it returns two and then it'll say, okay, which one do I run next? Okay, until close, it looks through, through the, the various actions it can do, it finds the one called until close and, and, and does that. Now I can rearrange these that this part of it makes no difference at all uh, other than the first one. The first one does have to be the first action you want to start with, but, uh, but I, can do, I can put these this way and the behaviors will, will be, uh, uh, oh, I missed a comma. Yes, I did miss a comma, okay. And, uh, um, and this will behave exactly the same way. The order doesn't matter because the order is specified by which state do I go to next and then I jump to another state. So, so this can go in any, in any order. Uh, another thing that can happen uh, is that the return value doesn't always have to be true. It can be the name of a state that you want to go to. So instead of true, we'll just go to whatever the next state is here. But I could return something else that will then um, go to um, something a little bit a, a, a little bit different. So, so in terms of making a decision. Um, so let's do a more complex, a complex example. So uh, let's do this. Um, and I don't think that you necessarily need to see my face all the time, so I'll, I'll clear it out. I'll come back uh, uh, with my, my face later la uh, uh, later on. Um, okay, so um, a more complex example. So what I'm going to do is, and it would help to draw these out probably, but uh, but essentially what I want to do is the following. I want to say. Um, have the robot approach 
until a until a certain distance, kind of what, <laughs> and then look a bit left and right to see where the wall ends. If the wall ends to the right, then turn right and go forward. If the wall ends to the left, I want to turn left and go forward. If the wall doesn't end, then go backward. Okay, so so basically that kind of behavior. So I, I this is not strictly linear because it branches at this point, and and you can imagine uh, doing this um, kind of uh, along the uh, along the way. So we're going to uh, do that now. Uh, one thing I'm going to uh, want to do first um, first introduce a friction environment, and this is the. This is so that you know makes you know stopping easier. So unless you kind of go along, stop, do something, and, and so on. So we're going to do we're going to uh, uh, do that. Um, what will have to happen then? I'm going to have to readjust all my forces, but that's but that's okay. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to need I'm going to re kind of re need to do my my forces. I'm going to do a friction environment. I'm going to do the state machine, do the same same state machine. I'm going to redo these behaviors, okay? And I'm going to need to like increase these by by a substantial margin. So I'll do like four, and then backward is, is minus four, and and so on. Um, and this and so what this does is it lets um, lets me be. Um, so it's going to go along. It's good. It, it moves much slower, and you can see it kind of flipping back and forth between the different states um, as it's as it's uh, um, as it's doing. Everything happens a little bit a little bit slower. And notice that um, uh, it doesn't creep back very far in between. So it moves just a little bit forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, just a, just a, just a little bit. If I get rid of that wall, it'll go do the same thing. See it's cruising on but not very fast, which is fine. And then it stops and it's kind of just moving back and forth to kind of continually uh, uh, maintain position. So this is just a little bit easier because I can actually stop uh, for um, that. Okay, so what other behaviors do I want to want to have? So, uh, so I have forward and backward, that works. Most of these are kind of like light switches, so I'm gonna do stop. Basically just puts this as four, okay. Okay, um, I have until close. Um, maybe I'll make it a little closer now that things are not quite so. Uh, um, um, and then, and then maybe uh, um, do uh, until far. Maybe maybe that will be. Maybe that'll also be be ten, and that will actually force me to to go back and forth. Let's see whether that amount of it works. Um, until close, it'll go to six, which means it'll stop somewhere around here, and then it'll go backward until ten, and then it goes so so it goes back and forth uh, along those al along those lines. Okay, so um, I'm going to put the wall back up, and I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to make the wall end somewhere around around here. So I'm going to move up the center a little bit, put the center at about 14, and then make the height only about seven. Will that will that do that for me? Uh, I'm going to do a little bit longer. Okay, I'm going to uh, stop that. I'm going to make this go at about uh, maybe about 10. Okay, so that way when it goes along, the wall clearly ends on this on on this side. And so, um, so what I want to do is I want to go forward, stop. Then I want to look left and right. And what does it mean by look? It means I have to turn this um, uh, turn this circle to, to look. Now, if you remember, this circle is attached to these two blocks, not by a weld. So, so if it turns, it doesn't move everything. Um, it just by distance. So this can freely turn. So if I want to look left, 
Okay, what I want to do is, uh, so let's say imagine, so that's, so those are some of the behaviors I might have. I'm going to just put in a few more. So let's say I want to look left. Um, look left, T robot. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make the torque, so I'm using Greek letter tau, and the way I do this in JupyterLab, I hit backslash T-A-U, hit tab, and it, and it, and it uh, uh, completes to, to tau. So this will give me a rotation, all right? And if I wanted to look left, um, left will, be a, will actually be a positive uh, uh, ro rotation. Okay, so I'm kind of turning that on, and I'm kind of combining, so I could have probably combined the forward until close together possibly. I could probably com have combined the, the other one as well. So, so look left is going gonna, gonna to keep doing that and it's only going to return true when the angle itself, so as it's spinning, if the robot center dot angle gets to be bigger than 45 degrees and then I'm going to stop. So I'm going to stop the, 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 the torque and I'm going to return true. All right, so, so once I do a behavior like that, I probably want to, um, uh, I probably want to debug it. So I want to write out the, um, the behavior. And so, so okay, forward until close, and then I'm gonna just, Rearrange so I can so I can do do this a little bit, um, and let's let's do a stop. So and then look left, and that's and 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 then that's uh, so look left, and then I'm going to end the simulation here. So there's a special state or special function called underscore end simulation, which, which just ends the, the, the simulation. This is useful for just kind of stopping the, uh, uh, the, 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 the logic. And then we go through here till far. Oh, I think I, I, think I didn't uh, um, execute the, the, uh, um, the cells. Look left is not defined. Yes, OK. There we go. Look left is now defined. So it should go close, stop, and then look left. Okay, and you can see it turned until the uh, um, um, until the robot actually is looking at forty five degrees, and that's pretty cool. Okay, so so um, so I look left, and now I want to look at the distance to the wall. So like if it, when it's open, it's going to be really long, and when it's closed, it's going to be pretty. It's going to be much closer. So I want to save that distance. on the left side, and there may be other ways to, to, to do that, I'm going to read the distance, but I'm going to actually save it on the robot. So I'll call it left distance equals distance, just so that I can do that and I'm going to return true. So it's going to do that action and then just, and then, and then the, uh, um, um, to, uh, to do that, actually, I'm going to I'm going to actually, actually I'm going to attach it to the center object, so uh, so that way the, the the left distance is attached to the center object, and then um, and then I can go uh, 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 for that. So now I'm probably going to want to do look left, look right. So everything is the same. Do a minus, and for look right. I want to make sure that the angle is less than 315 degrees, but it's just coming from look right where the angle just stopped at 45. So obviously that's going to, to happen. So I need to make sure that's both less than 315 and greater than 300. So, so that will um, make sure that it starts spinning. It, cl it crosses zero in terms of the spin. And then, and then gives us that, that angle and then, it, and then it stops. And then save distance right looks exactly the same, except for I'm just going to do right distance. OK. And then, hey, how about this? I'll, I'll, I'll do a look straight. How about that? And that'll, that, that'll straighten. OK. Um, and there, I want to make sure that, that it, you know, it's, it's greater than 0. And 
is less than 10. So that way it crosses the zero point and then stops, um, and then and then stops stops spinning. So um, and so instead of ending the simulation, look left. I'm going to save the um, uh, distance on the left side. Save. Let me make sure I've executed this because I didn't do that before. Distance left. And then I'm going to look right. I'm going to look right and then save distance right. And then I'm going to save distance right. Will be followed by look straight. And then look straight will be, will end straight, then we'll end the simulation there. Okay. And it goes along, look left, look straight. Okay, that, ha that all happened very rapidly, but I can look to see. There's the left distance that it was set, and here's the right distance. And the right distance is a bit further away, uh, uh, probably because of because of this wall um, that we have that we have there. So so it's actually not that much uh, farther. So maybe I can make the distance a little closer. So let's go back to uh, the until close part of the logic and make it a lot more like three. Okay. It goes along. Oh, so okay. So the the look right didn't work. It didn't. It didn't actually look all the all the way. So maybe that was the maybe that was the the uh, um, the the issue. Um, okay. So point two. Oh, it has to be greater than three hundred. That's what. Yeah, it's it. Okay. Now let's watch. Okay, so looks left, looks right. Ooh, now it's spinning all around. Oh, that was exciting. Uh, um, oh, I think I think it's because the, I think that was the, the with the uh, um, the the look straight. I did a pot. I did a, a negative there. Okay, let's try this one more time and see. Going along, and it looks left, looks right, and then comes back to straight. Okay, and then I look at the distances. Yes, okay, so that's much better, right? You know, the distances are, 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 much, are much bigger. I'm gonna go back to uh, the value of six because that wasn't the problem. And I might want to have a little bit of space when I, when I actually um, move that. So I lift right, look left, and now I have to kind of choose whether to move right or left. And that's the, that's the next, uh, um, that's the next piece. Okay, so choose right or left. That will be our next action. And so I'm going to call L and R. I'm going to get the the, the various distances. So um, the um, left distance is here. The right distance is here. And so now those are kind of called L, L and R. Here's where the I'm not going to be returning true. So if L is greater than, you know, a little bit bigger than than than, than R. Actually, I'll just do it. Time, I'll do it a little bit more than one times R. There's a, a reason for that. Uh, then I'm going to return a different state. I'm going to want to turn left. I'm going to turn the whole robot left. Okay. Otherwise, if the right side is bigger than a little bit more than the left side, then I'm going to turn right. Otherwise, I'm going to return backwards. 
Okay, so coming through this function, there's no return true, so it doesn't actually do it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, um, that. So so now I can do choose right or left, and I can you know choose right or left, and then this part of it will actually never run because it, there's never going to be a next next state. I'm just going to put that in simulation as a placeholder. But I, I need to have uh, functions called turn robot left. And um, and then do something like until close, but I'm going to do a little bit a slightly, slightly different one. I'm going to need a function called turn robot right. Again, it's going to be followed by and then and then uh, and then I need one uh, which will be called backward, right? And backward will will go until far. So it'll be back, back up. And then until far will go to the end of simulation. Simulation. Okay. So what do we have here? So we have a series of behaviors where he's going forward. Uh, until we stop, we look left, we look right, we save those distances, and then we choose. And the, and the choose function is actually determining which of the states I'm going to go to next. So it'll jump to one of these things, and then, and then these will get followed by possibly the same, the, 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 the same uh, one uh, there. Uh, and until closer will go until and will go until an end of a simulation. So I'm going to end the simulation after any of these. Let me get rid of this comma. Okay. Now we have to define these. We have to define these these, these functions. Okay. Def turn robot left. Okay. I'm going to do a robot left dot f equals negative four and do the same thing for the right change it to positive four and then we need to basically make it so if the kind of um, uh, robot if the uh, robot say the uh, as, as the robot itself is turning, say left dot angle, all right, uh, is greater than 45, right? So, so we want to basically turn the whole robot 45 degrees, and then we'll return true. Now, the problem with angles is that they're a little funky with, with, when, you, when you take differences. So, for example, the if we happen to be pointing at like 359 degrees, which is almost perfectly horizontal, all right. Um, so, so, so if we happen to have an angle okay, that is nearly horizontal, about 359 degrees, and then it moves to like two degrees, right? You know, that seems like it's a difference of like 357. So, but it's really only a difference of about three degrees. So you have to kind of take that into account, that kind of difference in angles. It's kind of a pain to have to deal with it, but we have to write our own function just to, just to, uh, uh, to, to, to deal with that. So, um, so I'm going to actually have kind of the, the difference uh, say say the angular difference between the robot angle and zero. I want to be greater than forty five. So uh, um, I looked up the um, angular difference between say angle one and angle two, and there's an and this is in uh, degrees uh, minus the absolute value of the absolute value difference, angle one minus angle two, um, minus 180 degrees, and, and, that, and that gives us the, the, the angular difference. Um, just an equation that you can look up for, for, for that. The same thing happens for turning right, 
positive 4, minus 4. Well, doesn't really matter. We can use the same block, but I'll just do, 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 do that. Um, and it's the same, and it's the same I idea. And then until closer is going to be basically the same as until close. But I'm going to just change the, the distance a little bit. Okay. Closer. Backwards is the same until far is, is pretty much the same. Uh, let's see, do I want to, uh, yeah, 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 so we'll do that. Do we have, oop, an unmatched parentheses. Um, that's on my dot and give a difference. Okay, there, that's the equation. Okay, awesome. Now let's see, did I define everything? No, and it's a comma. There's a comma. It's nice that it catches my commas like that. All right. So you can, this gets complicated pretty fast, even for a relatively simple thing. But let's see whether this, this actually runs. Runs until close. Looks left, right, rotates. OK, the rotation is, is, is messed up right now because it's not stopping. Uh, um, and, then, and then we have, uh, uh, oh, I think I, know, I think I know what it is. So I'm going to stop. Let's just look at the until closer. Yes, uh, until closer is. Uh, um, um, Actually, what I really wanted to do, yeah, sure, I'll do until closer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna merge the forward and and uh, um, there. Okay. I forgot to to actually change the direction of the forces, so it just kept spinning, and then it moves to the. Uh, now let's see, let's test this, and it should stop after a little bit. And um, not sure whether it actually did stop in this at uh, that point. I should probably make the closer maybe a little bit uh, bigger. We'll do it that way. Okay. Um, let's test this by having the wall centered a little bit differently. So we're going to do this. We'll do, do put it at about six. left, right, and then it moves left because of that. And then hopefully it'll stop a little sooner than it did before. Oh, I see, because it's because it's looking it's looking uh, 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 to the right, uh, so it's not so it's not actually stopping. Interesting. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to make it so that one of these guys, like the right or the left block, is actually reading the distance rather than the center, because right now the center is actually just you know, pointing to the to pointing to the uh, to the right. Um, let's rerun. Uh, let's rerun those, and then finally looks and then see if we can get it to, to go a little and stop a little bit more there okay so then it stopped good um, and then and, and so the, so that's one of them if I do a box um, with the center at 14 let's make sure it goes forward reads right then it goes that way okay and then finally, with um, um, I'll do one with so this should turn right, this one should turn left, and then this one should back up. So I'm going to do a height of like 16. That might not be enough. Nope, it's not enough. Okay, point. All right, so let's do a height of 20. Oh, it still might not be enough. Nope, it's enough. I'm going to bring it down a little bit just because it's there. OK, so now it's going to look left and right, the walls on both sides, and then it just backs up. All right, so, so in review, Basically, what we did was break things up into 
smaller behaviors. It let us debug those behaviors individually and allowed some functions to uh, return a kind of a branching system. So essentially, uh, instead of re returning true, which just gives you the next state, it returned a state name and then, and then that will move from one state to another one. And so that is an example of using finite state logic to do a more complex example than this. And uh, hopefully this video was, um, was helpful.